Hello world! A Russian nuclear submarine engineering company has been at the center of a newly discovered hack. The group behind the antics is believed to be affiliated with the Chinese government. The malware permeated the very top of the company, the CEO, via a malicious text document. The hack itself exploited a flaw in Microsoft Word, which seems to be becoming a bit of a tradition on this channel. But how exactly did this hack work? Were the attackers successful? Did they manage to grab those valuable submarine schematics? And can we even be sure who the infiltrators are? That's coming up in this video where we break down and dissect cybersecurity related tech news. The target in this tale is a company called the Rubin Design Bureau. It's a Russian state corporation which has been tasked with designing submarines for the Russian Navy for over 120 years. It goes without saying the intellectual property they will have accumulated over the years is going to be rather valuable and will be of great interest to any state. The hack itself has been documented by the cybersecurity company Cyber Reason. I'll be linking their full breakdown of events in the description. The initial attack vector was a phishing email sent to the general director of the company. The email addressed him as Respectful General Director Igor Vladimirovich. That should have been the first red flag, an email starting with anything other than hi personally makes me slightly suspicious. The email contained an attachment, a solitary RTF document. For the uninitiated, rich text format is simply a file format for text documents. Like TXT, but a little more feature rich on the formatting end, it can do fancy things like underline text, make it bold, italic, or even change its color. This was no ordinary RTF document, however. It had been generated by Royal Road. Royal Road is a tool used for weaponizing RTF documents. It exploits a vulnerability in Microsoft Word's equation editor to drop an encoded file capable of executing a variety of payloads on a victim computer. In this case, upon opening the document in Microsoft Word, our respectful general director was presented with what looks to be a schematic of some small submarine. However, behind the scenes, the malicious document had got to work, utilizing the equation editor vulnerability to drop a file, winlog.wll, to the Microsoft Word startup folder, setting up the next stage of the malware to execute the following time Word was opened. Cyber Reason explained that dropping the payload in the Word startup folder to trigger its execution makes the persistence mechanism less noisy and thereby would help it skirt under the radar a little better. The dropped payload had a variety of capabilities, including reconnaissance, encryption of sensitive data, privilege escalation, and of course receiving and executing arbitrary commands from a command and control server. What the plan exactly was from here is anyone's guess. It's most likely the attackers were going in with an open mind, so to speak, rather than a codified set of loot they wanted to nab. However, at this point, it would seem Cyber Reason's defense platform detected the impending threat and presumably quarantined things somewhat. Part of me was hoping for the incursion to end with a little more flair, some fireworks perhaps, but probably best for everyone it quickly came to an end. Cyber Reason's analysis of the origins of the hack are somewhat incomplete. The file creation date of the RTF doc at the center of all of this was set as sometime in 2007, an obvious attempt to frustrate investigation efforts. This practice is aptly named time stomping, would you believe it? Cyber Reason made it clear that not enough information was available to attribute the hack to a known threat actor with any reasonable certainty. However, as mentioned, the offending RTF file was weaponized with the Royal Road tool, in particular version 7, which has distinct encoding and has been observed being used by other Chinese state-sponsored threat actors such as Goblin Panda, cool name, like that one, Tonto Team, TA428, and Rancor. Royal Road is not an open source tool. You can't just grab a copy from GitHub. Instead, it is believed to have been shared between various threat actors with aligned interests which is what makes the knowledge of its use handy in attributing origins. The malware used in this escapade has been fittingly dubbed Port Door by Cyber Reason. This video is sponsored by the Macro Shortcut Keyboard. Designed, 3D printed, and handmade by my good friend Mike, it sports five MX Blue switches, as well as dual rotary encoders and a joystick. Designed with CAD and editing in mind, it's perfect for adjusting settings and triggering macros. Connecting to your computer via Type-C, it's completely platform independent. Macros can be changed simply via editing the config.txt files. It's also built on Arduino, and the source code is public, so you're free to hack it to your heart's content. You can pick one up over on Tindy and there's 10% off until Monday. The discount code will be linked in the video description. Mike is an established seller over on Tindy, so you know you're getting only quality gear. He also sells an array of ThinkPad USB-C charger conversion kits if you want your ThinkPad leveling up. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube AI and turn on those sub notifications so you're notified of any new hacking news. As always, stay tuned for more hacking videos and have a good one.